Hey, first grade readers. I know today is Monday, which means we just finished our weekend. And something that I love to do on the weekends as a family is watch movies. And I know probably a lot of you have been on Disney Plus or you've seen some Disney movies. And I'm wondering if you can picture any of the Disney nature documentaries that you've watched on there before. There's a bunch of them. There's ones about the ocean. There's ones about penguins. But one of my favorite of the Disney nature movies to watch is Born in China. And it's this story about these panda bears. Now, I love this movie because it gives you a bunch of true information about pandas and what it's like for them to live in the forest of China. But I also love another story that I've heard before that's about a panda, but it's not real, but it does make me laugh. Me and my niece love to watch Kung Fu Panda together, and it's about a panda, and at one point in the movie, he even says, I love Kung Fu, right? These are two different movies that I've seen. One, Born in China, is a nonfiction movie, meaning it is real, the information inside of it is true, and the other is a fiction story. Kung Fu Panda is a story that the author made up into a movie. I can also think about one of my sister's favorite movies. She loves penguins, so maybe you've heard of the movie she loves, but it's Happy Feet. It's about this penguin who dances and has happy feet. Now this is a fiction movie because it is made up. The story is not real. But if you think back to those Disney nature movies I mentioned before, they even have one on Disney Plus that's called Penguins. And it follows penguins all over and watches them as they swim, as they look for food, as they take care of their babies. And this is a nonfiction documentary because the information inside of it is real. Now, I've used two words so far that you should be familiar with as a reader, fiction and nonfiction. The last two weeks, we have been talking about those. Remember that when we are looking at fiction stories, we are talking about books or stories that the author made up. We gave you some examples like Elizabeth's School from the beginning of the school year, The Magic Rabbit also from the beginning, and when we studied Kevin Henke as an author for Lily's Big Day. So my fiction examples from movies were Kung Fu Panda and Happy Feet. Those are made up stories. They didn't really happen. I know this because animals are talking. Animals don't really talk with words. And I also noticed that the movie was like a big illustration or animation. So they were made up. They were drawn. The other category of books that we've been talking about is nonfiction. Nonfiction books have true information that the writer tells about a topic. We've looked at several books about bats. We've seen books about Veterans Day. And we've even read books about people or places people travel to or places people live. The two examples of nonfiction movies that I gave were those documentaries on Disney Plus, Born in China and Penguins. Today, as a reader, you are going to go onto Seesaw and you are going to be sorting books into fiction or nonfiction. Remember fiction? The easiest way to remember that is fiction is a fake story. It is a made up story. Nonfiction or not fake is always true information. I know you've been studying a lot about this in your individual classrooms. I know you've read fiction and nonfiction books and you even have both of those in your book bin at school. Today you will be sorting and if you have a nonfiction or a fiction book at home, I would love for you to read that as well. Good luck Spartans.